Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we were going deeper and deeper into Corypheus's prison, breaking the seals as we go. Is that wise? Is it? Mm. It's what Amelia's doing, at least, so uh, I guess we just have to stick with it. Now then, I believe, yeah, that, that looks to be where the next seal is, and we came from down that way. So, oh, another health potion. Thank you, that is ever so kind of you. Let me start my timer before I forget. There we go. Mm, I don't, I don't trust this. I'm... I'm expecting Genlocks to just start popping out of the sand, like, constantly. This... This isn't right. Oh, hello! You're right! So oh, big boy! Hello there! You're right! I'm a back it up, back it up. I don't... Paste it up! Aveline, if you want to make the ogre our friend. I, no, that'd be traumatic. That'd be traumatic for, uh, for Amelia. Just like, why is it on our side? Mm, 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 mm. You know what? Do for a kill. Oh, fine. It's just... Just ogre and puppy battling it out. Oh, dear. Come on, Amelia. You need to get out of this corner, girl. Get out of the corner. There we go. And just keep on him. Just... Oh, damn! I don't know if that was very Dane, but, like, good job. There we go. Nice. And give, thank y'all. Lovely. You know, it's been a while. Let's check in with our companions. I really need to stay out of the deep roads. Oh, he's, he's just getting worse and worse the further down we get. Well, that thing led us to a seal. There's some truth to this. The sooner we find our way out of here, the better. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. A yoink. And nothing over that way. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh god, what is that? Oh, it's another it's another pride demon looking thing. Oh, what is this? No, it's just a guardian. Okay, back it up. Haste. And go, go, go. Oh god, it stumbled down the stair. Oh, poor buddy. Are you okay? Okay, oh. Mm. It can summon smaller versions of itself. That's great. And you know what? Back it up. Okay, keep on it. Barrett's looking a little low, but I think he's fine. I think he's got this. Come on, take it out. Oh God, where? Where are you at there? And again, it's really like, meet my friends. Meet my friends. They'll help me out. No. No, they will not. Ooh, Varric buddy. Varric buddy. Give him a heal. There we go. Just keep on him. He's almost down. There we are. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have attack speed, health drain, 
mana stamina drain or armor penetration. Ooh. Mm -mm. What did... Yeah, that added plus six electricity damage on top. Ooh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that armor penetration is useless for us because we're a mage. And I'm pretty sure that magic ignores armor penetration. I think. I'm actually, I'm tempted between attack speed on and health drain. On one hand, I'm like, attack speed, that seems better for a rogue, but health drain, that, that sounds a little bit blood magey. You know, you're sapping someone's health with the blood mage weapon that, let's, attack speed. Attack speed all the way. Yeah, plus 3% attack speed. Okay. I, I, I find this really cool. You know, like kind of building your own weapon and like choosing the stats. I think that's really cool. But unfortunately, this is a weapon that Amelia, she just wouldn't use. It's incredibly blood magey. Like there is not a chance in... Get out of my head. Come on, Blondie. You're strong enough to overcome this. Amelia, the further they go, the worse Anders gets, and Amelia, her panic is rising. Like, up until this point, like, she's been scared, but she's keeping it together. But with Anders getting worse, she's starting to panic, and she's starting to kind of think, oh god, what's, what's gonna happen? Is he, is he not gonna make it out of this? this place alive that would it would destroy her it would absolutely destroy amelia because that's it's it's like with carver she brought carver down into the deep roads and he contracted the blight that was her fault she brought anders down with her to deal with these assassins and the darkspawn taint killed him it it would be her fault all over again and it oof Oh dear. Mm. Oh, hello. You're right. You doing okay? He is waking. The magic grows lax. He feels us walk where no step goes. Hmm. Yeah. Th these are all very good questions. Amelia, she has so many questions. Like, mainly, like, why was her dad involved in all of this? Like, I think, I think she's, she's panicking to the point where I, I don't think she's capable of logical thought. I think from here on out, I think she'd need to be told information. I don't think she could figure it out on her own because her thinking is so scattered. Are you talking about Corypheus? He calls like an old god. He mimics their cry. Can the rest of you hear him? I figured it was just me. He calls them to free him. The dark children and the light. Any with taint in their blood. If Corypheus isn't an old god, what is he? Human? Demon? Darkspawn? More than darkspawn. More than human. He thinks. He talks. He pierces the veil. An awakened darkspawn. An emissary. When I was with the Wardens in Amaranthine, we met an emissary like that. Powerful. Persuasive. I didn't realize there were others. He wants what was once his. Mm. I like that. 
I like that as a quote. He wants what was once his. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good line. How could this Corypheus be sending people after me if he's asleep? He can call, dream, but not know. When the seals are gone, he will wake. And he must die. And Amelia is inclined to agree with that. Artin... As I, I said this in the last episode, Artin sided with the Architect because they're the only ones who know what the Dwarves go through. Would she have done that if she had known there were more of them? I don't know. I'm inclined to say no. You know, I think she'd kind of feel if there are multiple of you, then I need to take as many of you out and maybe just... To be fair, I can see Artin saying, leave one alive so that we can learn from it. And I mean, if you've got one captured, then you can just kill the ones that are out there, right? So I don't... I actually don't think Artin would kill Corypheus. I think... If she had known that Corypheus was here, she would have killed the Architect. Because we have no need of him. We've got one. Amelia, however, she's like, it's a Darkspawn. Kill it. And how, how exactly did you get here? Why are you down here? How have you survived? The calling. The music. It is our death. The Wardens say once the corruption goes far enough... The Darkspawn can't sense you anymore. They think he's one of them. He'd be in no danger on that front. Yes. I lived. But... I died. The corruption feeds me. So many years in darkness. Amelia, she feels... she feels pity for Larias. But also, I think, I think she is, she's scared of him because that is Anders' future, potentially. Unless they find a, a cure for the, the Grey Warden's calling, that's his future. Hmm. I don't need your help, tell me where you're going. Um, we need all the allies we can down here, yet. Yeah. Amelia is kind of freaked out by him, but he hasn't, he hasn't shown that he means her any harm. And he's not a mage, so he's no threat on that front. When you run off, where do you go? I know the darkness before the seals. Here, the voice is too strong. I cannot stay. And off he runs. And we have no choice but to follow. And, oh, hello. Yoink! Now where does this lead? The base! We're at the bottom already, damn! I like the game. Don't, when you level up, don't forget to do the thing. Now I'm, I'm just not doing the thing. It's fine. Oh, Deep Stalkers, hi! It's been ages! Ah, uh, they flee. They flee because of course they do. This place is giving me a headache. Oh, God. Is, that, is that because of Corypheus' influence or just because we finally, you know, found the deep roads? Well, that thing led us to a seal. There's some truth to this. Av Aveline, surely you should have more lines than that. Stay out of the deep roads. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry. And a yoink. Now let's let's actually have a proper look at this place. Ooh. There we go. That's where we're heading. We need to go up into the central tower, I think. The colour scheme rather reminds me of um the mother's lair. Actually. Oh god, 
this is. The, oh, oh no, I don't like that. I really don't. Oh, God, that makes me feel physically sick. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate everything. Okay, let's, it's fine, it's fine. Ignore the spider corpses and just go. Dane, come on down. Oh god, that. That startled me far too much. Jeez. Just keep backing it. And bugger off. There we go. Okay, who next? You're not stuck. Good job, you're not stuck. I've got even more of them. Oh god, there are so many spider corpses. This is like a little spider graveyard. Ugh. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Keep going. Oh, I think we've befriended a deep stalker. Hooray. Nice. Okay, come on. Get on it. Ooh, okay. Brute heal. There we go. Just keep on it. Gee, there are so many of them. There are so many of them. Fuck her off. Ooh, Varric, buddy. I've got you. There we go. Keep on it. And more haste. Go, go, go. Come on. And you're down. Okay, and go, friendo. Go, friendo. Come on. And there we go. Last one. Flipping heck. God damn. My heart is, is going like the clappers still. Flipping heck. Just breathe, Callista. Remember to breathe. And yoink. Thank you kindly. Okay, so that's that's the way forward. Excuse me, I don't... I don't want to miss anything. A journal page? That looks like Legion of the Dead armor. It's an Orzammar thing. No matter your crime, if you join the Legion and vow to die fighting Darkspawn, your name is cleared. I had a friend from the Legion once. A girl named Sigrun. Not nearly as dour as you'd expect. Sigrun! I miss her! <laughs> It wasn't a very long DLC, and it's it's certainly by no means my favourite. However, I did like the cast. Uh, Valana was Valana was Valana, but everyone else, I was like my people and Ogryn. I always forget about him. First Legionnaire's journal. It's ironic. Hearing of Tethras Garin's crime first gave me the courage to confess my own and join the Legion of the Dead. Knowing that a paragon's son could give in to the same base passions as a mere merchant, commit a murder even fouler than mine. Yet he was sentenced to die in the deep roads for murdering his sister, not even offered the chance at the Legion. I am grateful every day for what the Legion gave me. A family, a purpose, and my name is clear. So when the Paragon learned that the Carter were responsible for the murder, not his son, I was the first to volunteer to retrieve the prince. It's not right that he should be the only one who doesn't know he's been exonerated. From the Journal of Malev Haran, Legion of the Dead. Want this? This would give Artin flashbacks, just like, oh! 
you know, royalty was murdered and then one of the siblings was accused of it and they got sentenced to the deep roads without even being allowed to try for the Legion of the Dead. Mm. History repeating itself, of course. And also, Tethrus. What's Varric's surname? Mm -hmm. The Legion of the Dead. Sent after Paragon Garen's heir. Why does that sound familiar? I think Garen was sometime in the early Exalted Age. Hundreds of years ago. Do you think they found him? Who knows? Given that... Uh... Given that he's right here, it's rather unlikely. Uh, if, if Artin were here, she'd be able to tell you. She'd be able to go into a shit ton of detail about that whole fiasco. Hmm. Uh, it feels weird to be back in, like, the Deep Roads. Or at least something that resembles the Deep Roads. Um, oh, hello, I almost missed you. A yoink. Let's, let's check out the building first. Another journal page. More Legion of the Dead armor. Second Legionnaire's journal. Paragon Garin refuses to give up. We're the eighth Legion unit he sent after Tethrus in the past five years. None dare tell him that after so long alone in the Deep Roads, Tethrus is certainly dead. The Paragon insists he will see his heir restored to his rightful place. May the ancestors favour his cause. We've followed the paths of the other Legionnaires, and so far we seem to be on the right trail. We're in a section of the Deep Roads that appears to have been altered by human magic, so perhaps we'll find some new clue here. We're going in tomorrow. Ancestors be with us. From the journal... Excuse me, my voice just cracked. I'm gonna I'm take a sip real quick. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's better. From the journal of Karl's Aratak, Legion of the Dead. That's where I know the name. Tethra's Garen should have been the heir to the Garen clan. But he was accused of killing his sister and sent into the deep roads to die. When the real murderer was caught, they tried to find him. They never could. Instead, every Garen heir from that time on took the name Tethrys in his honor. One of them became a paragon in his own right and founded my clan. So this was one of your ancestors? Not directly, but uh, a little closer than I like to come to my past, you know. Oh, no, oh, Varric. And if, <laughs> what makes this so sad? If so, if they're saying that like Tethrus, Tethrus Garen came down here. Clearly, he got trapped by the prison. He probably would have starved to death or been killed. And so, all of these legionnaires, following each other's tracks, just coming down to this one section of the deep roads to die. It's, oh, it's, it's bad. That is so tragic. And because none of them could ever get out, none of them could send the message back like, hey, don't come this way, it's a trap. You'll never be able to leave. And so they just kept sending more and more and more. Oh, hello, flipping it. You all right? Hi there, oh, bolters, yeah, bolters. Oh, and a big boy. We got bolters and a big boy, no thank you. Paste it up. Oh. Hey, how about some sympathy for the one who's closest to the ground here? Okay. Okay, Varric, I don't know what that was about, but good for you. Okay, just keep on it. He it looks like he's stuck there. I'm I'm good with that. You know what? Um, I think he's on the move, though. Group heal. Better to be safe than sorry. And go, go, go. No. Girl, run. Girl, run. I'm, I'm so paranoid. Oh, there, there he goes. 
God damn! God damn it, girl! Where are you? Um, let's get into Panacea and I'm gonna hold off until he's moved. Excuse you! Okay, run, run, Anders. Okay, that's good enough. There we go. And you can get out of pants. See it? There we go. Got it. Okay, get that back on. And this. And haste. Oh, you don't do it again. Amelia. Okay. Heal yourself. Heal yourself quickly. There we go. Got even more bolters. Group heal. Nope. Nope. Girl, move. Move it or lose it. God, he's, he's on me. He is like you. Come on. There we go. Tarnished Tavinta Amulet. Ooh. Fancy. And what did you drop? Lovely jubbly. More money is always appreciated. Okie doke. <laughs> Let's see. So that's the seal. This. <sighs> uh, this is much wetter than I remember the deep roads. It is. It really is, and I like it. Um, yeah, this this feels familiar to me. We should light those torches. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a puzzle. That was a piss-easy puzzle. Yay! Ooh, gloves of the silent one. And 19... 19 sovereigns. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. How, what what are we up to? We're so close to 600. We are so close. And thank you for the health potion. Always appreciated. Oh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Do Mart's ritual scroll. The writing on this ancient parchment is barely legible, but it appears to concern a rite of silence. Place the offerings on the altar, then kneel before it. With abject humility, head bowed and hands clasped, say, These are our offerings, O Lord of Silence. Ooh. Oh, yeah. A second dead legionnaire's journal revealed that the Paragon kept sending legionnaires to their deaths, trying in vain to find his heir, tried to locate Tethras Garin's final resting place. And... Okay, yeah. Hmm. I can't remember how many... Oh, that! I remember you. Okay, so that's where we need to go for the, uh, fucking doodad with the, the altar thing. God, I, I do really like this, this location. I like the steam vents and the water and the fact that it's the deep roads and I'm, oh, it, it makes me happy. It makes my heart sing. Blessed are you, Jumat. Silent and strong, secret and wise. 
Accept these offerings and share your strength. And Amelia just thinks, what the fuck? Pardon? Uh, that's rather creepy, isn't it? And you know what? I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we take a look at the creepy old altar. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.